Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to my review of the All Key EP-23s. These are some sports orientated TWS earbuds. I typically focus more now on the active noise cancelling ones. These ones sadly do not have them, but they are focused for active sports. So they have a air hook on them and give you a very good fit. So even jumping up and down, these are not going to go anywhere. Now these particular TWS earbuds, Bluetooth 5 Tech of course, they support the AAC codec and also aptX. We have a seven hour runtime on a single charge and an additional three charges more from the case. So in this review, I'm gonna be covering just how they are to use them, the comfort of them, the touch controls, do I have any issues? And more importantly too, how exactly do they sound to my ears? And if they're worth the price tag that these ones sell for. So inside the plain brown box that they come in, we have a Type-C cable, and this you use of course with your mobile charger. It will take approximately two hours to fully charge the case. We have two large tips, two small tips, and it does come with the mediums already applied on the earbuds themselves. This little card here is a 24 month warranty. So yes, it does have a two year warranty with this one. Quick start guide and a user manual. Now taking a look at the case of the T32s here, the first thing you'll notice is the sheer size of it. So much larger than your typical one. So these are the N5s, also from Orkey, noise cancelling ones that I have reviewed, and half the size. So this only weighs 48 grams, and we're looking at 101 grams here with the T32s. So a large chunky case that is approximately 48 millimeters, the thickness of this one. So a little bit harder to fit into a pocket. I can just fit it in my jeans pocket okay, but I can't really put anything else in my jeans pocket because of the bulk and sheer size of this. So the plastics is good. You can see a few fingerprints and smudges has already started to show on the back of this. And the Type-C port is right here too, and a status LED when it is charging. And this part in the middle, I really wish they didn't do this with the case. It's made out of a shiny matte Matte either side, but shiny in the middle here, and yes, it is already starting to show a few little scratches. Very little minor things, okay, but the build quality of the plastics is good, and the case itself does close down with magnets there, and that is gonna hold it in there in place. It's not gonna rattle around in your pocket, so when you open it straight up, you can see we have some status LEDs right there, and that is telling us the three remaining charges we get. So 35 hours in total is their claim, and you get seven from the earbuds themselves. So really it's basically just an additional 25 from the case or approximately three extra charges. That's why they have the three status LEDs there. So labeled left and right, there's magnets that hold them into place there. The Pogo port pin connectors, the charges. And you can see a little bit of text up here just stating that it does have a 600 milliamp hour battery in there. And as I mentioned about two hours or so to fully charge it. So all up, the build quality of the case is good. It's just quite a large, thick, case, double the size of your typical earbuds. So you can see here why the case of course is so large because these are large earbuds with the air hook design. So that goes over your ear and I'll talk a little bit about the comfort of wearing these two for extended periods. Now this is made out of a silicon. It's flexible, it's comfortable, there's no sharp edges on the plastic. So a good finish to these as well and build quality similar to the case. I've got the medium tips on here so they just happen to work for me out of the box. There is a IR transmitter while well, a sensor right here, infrared, and that detects when they are removed. So as soon as you remove them, it will automatically pause your music, which is good. The poker port contacts right there for charging. Charging these earbuds is also about two hours to fully charge them once they're completely drained. And they will give you up to about seven hours as their claim of continual runtime. I'm getting just over six with these, but it depends on the genre of music and the volumes you're using, of course. Now flipping this over, you can see this part here where it does say all key. This is made out of a matte plastic here that does tend to show a little bit of fingerprints and things on it is one thing and capacitive areas of this part here for controlling it. So you can single tap to pause, double tap to skip or previous track, three taps also launches Siri or Google Assistant. What is missing however is our volume controls with the touch control there which is a shame. Now at the bottom there is a little hole here which is our microphone and then up the top there is a status LED as well with these. So all up they weigh each of them seven grams, which is slightly heavier than the typical four to five grams of your normal kind of earbud style without the hook, of course. Okay, so let's jump in and talk a little bit about just how are these tuned out of the box. So they are favoring bass, clearly. And those 12 millimeter drivers, they are really quite punchy in terms of bass. When you push it up really loud, you can get some great, nice thundering lows 
hits hard, it's good, and it doesn't distort either at high volume. So the volume can be really pushed hard too. I think the volume loudness is going to be acceptable for most people. It's not, uh, well, it depends on the mobiles too as well. So using right here my Fold 2, I think Samsung are limiting a little bit the volume output. Then other phones like my Xiaomi 2, I can push quite hard. Now the audio codec, we've got AAC support or it does support aptX2 as well, which is great. Now the mids, the mids to me, they sound good. They're average. I mean, it's not like amazing wow kind of mids coming from this. Vocals are good. Where they do lack, I think, however, one area is the highs. So your treble, your highs, I don't think is quite as crisp as it could be. And clearly this is because the out of the box tune is just favoring heavy bass so much with these particular earbuds. So I can happily report that there seems to be no noticeable delay watching Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, and even gaming. I'm not seeing any lag. So that means the audio sync for me is pretty much perfect here with these, uh, helped by, of course, the Abdex codec. So there's only one mic on each of the TRS earbuds, and this sample has been recorded directly into my timeline. And overall, I think it's actually good. You can be heard clearly. You can place calls on this. I have done a few test calls and I don't have any issues with the other end understanding me or hearing me. So I would give these an above average rating for the microphones. Okay, now onto the comfort, the fit you get. So what I do when I put them on is I pull the, well, the air hook part out, and then you put them in, well, you, not quite as you would as normal TWS earbuds. So you gotta wiggle them around a little bit, you get them in, then pull that out and up and over, and then you have a fairly comfortable fit. Now, when you jump around, if you're gonna go running and things like that, these are where these definitely excel. So compared to the typical normal TWS earbuds that I review here in the channel that don't have this design, they have a tendency to sometimes feel like you need to push them in that they could come out. These, you never have to worry about that. So I never find myself going, oh, oh, hang on, they're gonna come out. No, they sit there, they're, they're not going anywhere, jumping around, running, whatever you do, a nice, solid, just firm, it's not firm with pressure that's gonna hurt your ears or anything, but a little bit is being applied to just keep them in your ears with the air hooks. Now the air hooks themselves aren't giving me any problems with any pressure or soreness around the top of my ears. They're not really pushing in hard or anything like that or down, no, it's not that. But with the inner ear, the inner ears of these of course, I have noticed after about three hours, a slight bit of discomfort there, which is kind of normal and typical. Now, Orki, they do claim that these will go for seven hours on a single charge, and I'm finding it's more like about six for my genre of music, for the volume that I comfortably listen at, and it could be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on, of course, your music and your volume you use. Volume-wise, these are very loud, and the bass you get from them is, is very, very punchy, great, deep, very powerful lows, and it doesn't distort. You get high, good volume out of these two as well, the mids, they're good, but I wouldn't say they are amazing. The lows as well, I think the lows could be a little bit crisper, a little bit better, but they are definitely tuned out of the box. The T23s here for that bass. So I think for the general public, they've done this and they're punchy, they're good for bass. And the comfort, I think is really what these are about. These are earphones about just not having them falling out, okay, when you're doing the sports and things. So disconnections, no issues with disconnections, no problems with that, the Bluetooth range seems normal, typical to what I've been testing in the channel too with other Bluetooth 5 audio. And you get about four or five meters and it will start to break up one of the ears there. So it comes to the things I don't particularly like. Well, the case, as I pointed out at the start there, it is big, okay? It's twice the size of your typical normal case. And there doesn't seem to be any volume controls with these either. We get the three additional charges. Considering how large this case is, they could have put a slightly bigger battery in there, I think, to give us maybe four or five more charges, but hey, it's it, it is what it is. So overall, I think they're good for people that are looking for just that earphone, the in-ears, sorry, the TBS Tech, in-ear ones that aren't gonna fall out running or jogging. That's where I'd say definitely for that reason alone, I would get these versus the others, and you don't have to keep doing the old, oh, it's gonna fall out, it's gonna fall out. And really, there's not much more to say, apart from the touch controls as well too. Not super 100% working. I do find that now and then, touching it, it didn't register. So I use three fingers, or my whole hand, just instead of a finger to touch it, and I find then the capacitive touch controls do work a little bit better. So thank you so much for watching my review here of the EP-T23s from OK. I do hope to see you back in the next one.